one. Okay, puts. Uh, so puts, uh, welcome to the program. Right. Ruby has several methods for sending text to standard out, uh, the most common of which is puts. And here on line one, we've got puts, uh, putting out a string, and the output would look something like this, right? So we'll give us a string and this new line. Uh, same thing with um, this next version of puts where we're outputting the number 45. Um, puts can print any object, not just strings. And when it puts <laughs> something out, it's always going to create a new line um, right after that, uh, slash in. Uh, if, you, if you see a slash in in code, that stands for new line, so something like, uh, like that, right? But we'll see that later on. But just to expect it to output um, whatever its value is and then add an extra line um, right after that. Um, there is a special method used to get rid of that extra line, but uh, we'll play around with that uh, at some point in the future as well. That's called dot chomp. C-H, dot chomp. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll play around with that later on. So, um, Puts can output other objects by using their dot two underscore s method. That's this thing, and that's called uh, to string. And uh, then the which of course converts it to a string, and that would work uh, kind of like this. So here we've got a variable number assigned to fifty six, or fifty six assigned to the variable number. Um, thing to print equals number dot two s and um, if we actually ran that with uh, the hash rocket we would see that thing to print with an output 56 but you see that it's got got it inside quotes right so now that's not just a, a number that's the string 56 not the numeric value 56 right and then if we then fed that to to puts the value of puts it would output 56 with a new line after it right Okay, um, I'm going to run this in, uh, in the command line on terminal, and uh, we can see what the deal is. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, that's zero, 03 puts. Ta -da. There we go. So puts to the program 45 and 56. And let's see. And there we go. Now we can also run this from inside the um, inside of Vim, Mac Vim. I do command R. We'll run the output right at the bottom of the screen here. You see the same thing there as well. It's good to um, play with it from the command line and get used to that. Also, um, okay, so uh, that's that for that.